I was diagnosed with uncontrolled hypertension and type 2 diabetes. And that's kind of the perfect storm for kidney failure. When I found out I needed a new kidney, how did I feel? Scared. Scared. I was on the transplant waiting list just under five years. I met a number of uh, medical personnel, and it was one of those individuals who kind of said, hey, why don't you have a donor? And I didn't have an answer. And the response was, because you don't know how to ask. And I said, you're 100% right. I was able to write an appeal letter, and I decided to put it out on social media. Dear friends and family, some of you may know, and many of you do not know, that a few years ago I was diagnosed with chronic kidney disease, and over time my kidney disease has gotten worse, causing my kidneys not to work well enough to keep me alive. I am humbly asking a family member or friend to consider donating a kidney to me. I know this is a difficult decision. Imagine how difficult it is to have to ask. I, I could not believe when I saw his post. I never knew that Dan was suffering from kidney failure. I had met Dan through our boys. So my son Cooper and his son Brandon happened to be on the same travel soccer team. I can't imagine his boys not being with their dad to a ripe old age. And so I decided right then and there, I'm just gonna throw my hat in the ring and see if I'm a match. My transplant coordinator reached out and said, Dan, we have someone. When I found out that Molly was the individual, it was literally at a parent soccer meeting. And Molly comes up and says, hey, I'm going through the process. Things look really good. And I looked at her and I said, it's you. And, you know, I had no idea. The first thing I was told was that I was not a compatible blood type for Dan. And I had a wave of disappointment until Dan said to me, wait, don't panic. We can do something different called kidney paired donation. I had never heard of this before. It's a pretty interesting um, process where basically two incompatible pairs, myself and Dan, we match with another incompatible pair. So my kidney goes to someone in that pair and then the donor's kidney goes to Dan. So there's basically two people receiving a brand new kidney. And the cool thing is, with pair donation, they can get chains up to 8, 12, 16. So it's awesome. It was after soccer practice, and Molly comes up to me and hands me a gift bag. And inside of the gift bag was a little box, and inside the box was a kidney bean. And he opened it looking very perplexed. <laughs> and then he opened the box and he said, wait, what? And she looked and she said, I, I can donate donating the kidney. And he said, I can't even believe it. And it was fabulous. I really didn't think it was real. You know, I really didn't think it was real. It's a life-changing experience. And I'm forever grateful. I don't know where I would be had I not received my kidney. After I donated my kidney, I got really emotional the first time I saw Dan with his family. And that might have been when it hit me for the first time, that in my mind, it was a small task. And I think for Dan and his family, it meant a lot more. You need to put yourself in the person's position who is waiting for that living donation. I've had friends who didn't receive a kidney and they're no longer with us. So my advice is to, to get the word out. I have a responsibility to do so. So this is Molly, who I've renamed my angel, who donated a kidney on my behalf. It was such a selfless act, you know, and Molly has blessed me, my family, and because of her actions, I'm here today. So thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs>